Gate. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finish up 195 points. You have the Nasdaq up 179. S and P's up 34. Gold, gold contract down ten dollars sixty cents at 18.27 an ounce. We had silver down 48 cents, 21 dollars one penny an ounce. Platinum off 18 bucks, 9.07 an ounce. Light sweet crude off two bucks, 104 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note up 20 ticks, trading 117.19. The 30-year up uh, 29 ticks at 136.28. King dollar up 141 ticks, 104.339. Euro 105. Yen 134.93. And the British pound trading at 122 to 1 US dollar. We get open, we take a look at the SPY, folks. Bottom line, you know, held price, uh, volume contracted. Um, you know, that being said, I suspect you're going to try to, you know, get up a little higher coming into Friday. And more than likely, we're going to have, you have another contraction of volume. That's the building cause. We are uh, in two separate ABC structures on the way down inside the, all the indices. So I suspect that was going to get done. And uh, NDX 100, same type of setup. What we have with the NDX 100 is that that closed up, uh, Q's closed up $4.18. Uh, you know, yesterday you had volume of 67 mil million, you got 56 today. This will try to get into the gap. The, ga the gap in the NDX right now is 288.38. You know, so what you can expect out here tomorrow morning um, is that I think, I think you're going to get uh, an up market. I think you're going to get an up market. Uh, you have a contraction of volume. And the thing that's going to be intriguing about that, folks, if that's what we get, this market will have a shot to basically you know, try to run right into July 4th. One of the targets just reminded me that we had a, a pretty good downdraft uh, right before July 4th. We did. I, I think that was about six or seven years ago, and I remember that. Um, you know, we'll see how it shakes out. But most times you have an occasion that, you know, and what tends to happen more than anything <clears throat> is that things just settle down. And you think they're settled down, and then what ends up happening is that they can run the market with light volume for a bit, and then all of a sudden, the turn just comes. So you want to remember something. In bull markets, all the surprises are to the upside. And we've been in a bull market for a long period of time. We're in a bear market now. The bear market, all the surprises to a downside until that changes. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Have a great one, folks.